Number 67. Toluene, which is C6H5CH3, is oxidized by air under carefully controlled conditions to benzoic acid, which is C6H5CO2H, which is used to prepare the food preservative sodium benzoate, which is C6H5CO2NA. What is the percent yield of a reaction that converts 1.000 kilograms of toluene to 1.21 kilograms of benzoic acid? And then they give us this lovely reaction between the two of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the balanced equation because I like to do that. And it just makes it easier for me to write things down underneath it. So I have two C6H5CH3s plus 302s. Now I'm already noticing that there are coefficients here, right? The big numbers in the front. So that means that thankfully they balance the equation for us. Thank you very much. So we don't really have to worry about that. The next thing I'm going to do after I try to center this, perfect, is write what we have. Now, they're asking for what is the percent yield. We'll get into that in two seconds. But we're converting basically one kilogram of toluene, which they stated was this. So I have 1.000 kilograms of this and in an actual experiment right in an actual reaction that this you know scientist did they converted one kilogram to 1.21 kilograms now when we're doing uh, percent yield which is this formula right here maybe i'll put this on the side here Percent yield is all about an actual yield versus a theoretical yield. Now, if we're trying to find the percent yield, that means we should know what the actual yield is and what the theoretical yield is. The actual yield is literally what you actually gotten in the lab. This person, whoever did this, actually converted the toluene into 1.21 kilograms of benzoic acid. So we know this number. All right. The only thing that we need to find out is what's the theoretical yield. But we've been doing this all along. If you guys have been with me on this, you know, stoichiometry journey is that we've been seeing this, you know, time and time again, just know that the grams that you're finding just has a fancy name of theoretical yield. So you use stoichiometry basically converting to convert to a theoretical yield. A theoretical yield is just the max amount that you could have produced in a reaction if there was absolutely no error whatsoever. So maybe I will bring this a little bit down. Okay. And maybe I'll bring this a little bit over because I know I'm probably going to be using a lot of the space here. Okay. So let's just write this out. So I'm going to start with what I'm given, right? The one kilogram. Now, technically this says grams. So first let's just convert what, you know, the kilograms would be in grams. And we know how to do that, right? From kilograms to grams, all we have to do is just times by a thousand. So this would technically be a thousand grams. So that's what I'm starting with here. A thousand grams. I can go from those grams to moles, right, of C6 of the toluene, 66H5CH3. And then I can go get the moles of the compound that I want. It should match the actual yield. This was 1.21 kilograms of benzoic acid. So technically the theoretical yield should also be in benzoic acid as well. So this is what we're basically trying to solve for. So we'll say C6H5CO2H. And then from there, we could just find the grams of it. And once we get the grams, that is the theoretical yield. Okay. So let's start with what we're given. 1,000. And then grams of C6H5CH3. 
you don't want that anymore. We're just doing ratios, right? Grams of C6H5, CH3 goes on the bottom. The mole of C6H5, CH3 goes up on the top. And when we're doing this, right, this is the periodic table. So when we're using the periodic table, it's always one mole equals the mass. So let's just find out what C6H5 CH3 is on the periodic table. We have six carbon for the first one. So six times 12.01 plus five times 1.008 plus we have another carbon. So that's just 12.01 and then we have three more hydrogen. Okay, so I get 92.134 and then bye bye to that. Now let's go to the next unit. This is where we're going to use our balanced equation. Mole of the C6H5CH3 on the bottom and then the moles of the C6H5 CO2H on the top. This is a multi mole conversion of different elements, so that's using the balanced equation, different compounds, right? And in here, it looks like for both benzoic acid and toluene, there were two in front. So those are your coefficients. So two on the top, two on the bottom. Basically, it's like one to one because they'll cancel out. And then the last step is to just find the grams. So mole of C6H5CO2H on the bottom, gram of C6H5CO2H on the top. And this is the periodic table again because it's a gram to mole conversion of the same compound. So there you go. One mole, if you're using the periodic table, it's always one mole. And now let's find the mass of benzoic acid. So six times the 12.01 for the carbon plus five times 1.008 for the hydrogen plus another carbon plus two oxygens. So two times 16 and then one more hydrogen. We get 122. Maybe I can pull this a little bit. Get 122.118. And now that cancels out. And we're left with the unit that we want, grams. So let's figure out what the theoretical yield is. So 1,000, I'm just doing the math here, divided by 92.134. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I'm not even going to worry about that. And then times 122.118. And I basically get 1,325 grams of the C6H5CO2H. Now, if we wanted to, if, if you want to still keep the kilograms here, right, for the actual yield, the theoretical yield also has to be in kilograms. So you can just convert this into kilograms. You can convert to kilograms by dividing by 1,000. So this would be 1.315 kilograms, and that's the number that would go in this equation. We still wanted to find the percent yield, so percent yield equals the actual yield. They actually got 1.21 kilograms, and a max should have been made of 1.325. So that's all that it is. 1.21 divided by 1.325 times 100. Looks like it's three sig figs to me. So 91.3%. And maybe I'll put that up here. So the percent yield is 91.3%. Basically, whoever did this did a very good job because out of 100 total, think of it as like a grade, right? They got a 91.3. They collected 91.3% of the product that they could have gotten, you know, out of 100. So that's pretty good. All right, guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope I'm giving you good quality help. All right. And yeah, let's keep studying hard. Um, good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you in the next lessons. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.